There are so many ranks in the British Army. Working out what order they progress in can be confusing to those who aren't educated on the topic. In this video, we look at a simple guide to British Army ranks in their correct order. Private On completion of basic training, all new soldiers start as privates, although the title may be Trooper, Gunner, Signaller, Sapper, Guardsman, Rifleman or even Kingsman, depending on the corps of regiment in which they are serving. Lance Corporal Promotion to Lance Corporal may follow after initial trade training or after about four years as a private. Lance Corporals are required to supervise a small team of up to four soldiers called a section. They also have opportunities to specialise and undertake specialist military training. Corporal After six to eight years and depending on ability to lead, promotion to corporal typically follows. In this rank, additional trade and instructor qualifications can be gained. Corporals are given command of more soldiers and equipment, such as tanks and guns. Sergeant Sergeant is a senior role of responsibility, promotion to which typically takes place after 12 years of service depending on ability. Sergeants typically are second in command of a troop or platoon of up to 35 soldiers, with the important responsibility for advising and assisting junior officers. Staff Sergeant After a few years as a sergeant, promotion to either staff or colour sergeant may follow. This is a senior role combining man and resource management of around 120 soldiers, or even command of a platoon or troop. Warrant Officer Class 2 This is a senior management role focusing on the training, welfare and discipline of a company, squadron or battery of up to 120 soldiers. WO2s act as the senior advisors to the major in command of the subunit and may also be selected for a commission as an officer. Warrant Officer Class 1 The most senior soldier rank in the British Army, typically reached after 18 years of outstanding service. WO1 are the senior advisors of their unit's commanding officer, with leadership, discipline and welfare responsibilities of up to 650 officers, soldiers and equipment. Officer Cadet This is the rank held during initial officer training at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst or in the University Officers Training Corps. It, like a private, has no insignia. Second Lieutenant this is the rank held on commissioning from the Royal Military Academy. It's normally held for one to two years. During their time as second lieutenant, officers complete special to arms training relevant to their corps. After training is complete, they are responsible for leading up to 30 soldiers in a platoon or troop, both in training and on operations. Lieutenant. The rank of lieutenant is typically held for two to three years. They normally command a platoon or troop of around 30 soldiers, with the increased responsibilities from being a second lieutenant. They also have the opportunity to gain specialised skills outside their unit. Captain The rank of captain is typically held for 5 to 10 years. Captains are normally made second in command of a subunit of up to 120 soldiers. They are key players in the planning and decision making process with tactical responsibility for operations on the ground, as well as equipment maintenance, logistics support, and personnel. Major Typically a major will be given command of a subunit of up to 120 officers and soldiers, with responsibility for their training, welfare, and administration, both in camp and operations, as well as the management of their equipment. Lieutenant Colonel Lieutenant Colonels typically command units of up to 650 soldiers, containing four to five subunits, known as the commanding officer. They are responsible for the overall operational effectiveness of their unit, in terms of the military capability, welfare and general discipline. 
Commanding officer is typically a two-year appointment. Colonel. Colonels are not usually field commanders, except in the Royal Army Medical Corps. Typically, they serve as staff officers between field commands at battalion and brigade level. It's the lowest of the staff ranks, and they are the principal advisors to senior officers. Brigadier. Brigadier is not considered to be a general officer rank by the British Army, but rather a field officer rank. Brigadiers can command a brigade or be a director of operational capability groups, such as the director of staff. Major General Major Generals command formations of division size and the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. They hold senior staff appointments in the Ministry of Defence as well as other headquarters. Lieutenant General Lieutenant Generals command formations of core size and other commands in the UK and overseas. They also hold very senior staff appointments in the Ministry of Defence as well as other headquarters. General Generals hold the most senior appointments, such as the Chief of Defence Staff, Vice Chief of Defence Staff, Chief of the General Staff, Deputy Supreme Allied Commander Europe, and the Commander-in-Chief of Land Forces. Field Marshal This is the highest rank in the British Army and has been since 1736. The rank of Field Marshal has become an honorary rank, with the last active officer to be promoted to the rank in 1994. Hopefully that will give you some insight as to the basic rank structure of the modern British Army. Leave a comment down below telling us which rank you believe to be the most important in the British Army. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.